So believers marry believers. And if a woman said, oh, I'm a Christian, and I want to get married to this guy, or the guy tells me, oh, I'm a Muslim, I want to get married to this girl, and she's a, you know, Ahul Kitab, Christian. And so I take her into the office, we sit down, we're going to talk. Now I'm going to ask her, what do you believe? She said, what do you mean? What do you believe? Oh, I believe there's a God. Well, that's good. That's nice. What else? I don't know. You don't have anything? Oh, yeah. Jesus died for my sins. That's it? That's all you know? Yeah. Is that really a believer? Is it? Let's ask a question. Can you please tell me something about the Bible? She said, like what? Well, can you tell me about the Old Testament? No. Can you tell me about the New Testament? Hmm, no. Have you ever read the Old Testament? No. Have you read the New Testament? Hmm, no. Have you heard about something called the Ten Commandments? Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. Okay, could you tell me what they are? Hmm. One of them is... Thou shalt not kill. What else? Uh, I think thou shalt not eat pork or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's old Jewish anyway. It doesn't matter for us. We're Christian. Oh, okay. So, do you know something about the New Testament? Yeah. Uh, Jesus died for my sins. That's it. Okay, is that really somebody you... I mean, I'll be honest. You want to really say this is a believer? Huh? And so many times the young brother comes to me. Oh, man, she's a believer. She's almost like a Muslim. I mean, you know, she believes there's a God and he's one and, you know, really? Huh? And she's Ahu Kitab. So I ask her, do you even own a Bible? No. And you never read one? No. Are you interested in it? No. And I tell him, okay, this is actually a whole checkbook. <laughs> be careful. Take it easy. So there has to be limits, otherwise you're going to get in trouble. Right? And how many times after a lecture or a program like this, when I'm going out the door, somebody comes to me, I need to talk to you privately. I gotta to talk to you privately. I wanna say something to you, please. And then we stop and I'll go over to the side. You know what he says? Okay, see, my wife, she's not a Muslim. And I said, I don't wanna hear the rest of it. I've heard the story over and over and over and over. And what happens? Oh, ever since I got married, it's blah, 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 it's a problem. She doesn't want me to pray. She doesn't like this. She says this about my religion. She's against the Quran. She gives me a hard time. Wallahi. And I said, do you have any children? No. Alhamdulillah. Go. Because if he has a child with this lady, what will happen? Will the problem get better or worse? A lot worse? Yeah. And then some come to me and they already have children and they say, what can I do? She wants them to be Christian. They're wearing the cross and they're saying all this stuff and they go to church. She won't let them go to the masjid with me. Or she says, no, I don't want them to have any religion at all till they get older. Let them decide for themselves. Now there's an idea. Have you ever heard anybody say that? You never heard it? I heard this actually some years ago. A woman told me, I want my children to grow up with no religion whatsoever and just let them choose for themselves. I said, you know what's wrong with that? I was a Christian. I told her, you know what's wrong with that idea? She said, what? I said, just because you don't teach them any religion doesn't mean that shaitan is going to take off and wait until they get... <laughs> Stupid, man. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Rights and limits rights and limits. That's why a lot of times we get in trouble trying to explain our religion to non-Muslims because we didn't tell them about rights and limits. We only want to talk about rights. Women's rights. Women have to have rights. Of course they do. 
You think Allah didn't know that? Who created women? Did you? No. Did Adam? No. Allah. This is one is it? Now, I went slow enough, and if you know Arabic, it's clear. He said, Oh mankind. This means who? Everybody. Yes? Everybody, not just Muslims, Mu'min, everybody. Fear your Lord, who created you all. All of us were created from who? One single, who is? Alayhi salam. And from him, Hawa, Eve. And from these two, everybody came from them. Right? So Allah knows what he created. Yes? So it's not for you or me to say what women's rights are. It's not for you to say even what your rights are. Allah tells you what your rights are, right? And what your limits are, right? So how come if I don't get to say what my rights are, I have to take it from Allah. As a Muslim, I have to take it from Allah. So the same is true for the women. They cannot make up their rights. And I can't make up mine. Otherwise, they're making up their deen. And if you make up your deen, Allah said in the Quran, in the deen, in the lahil, Islam. 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 So if we understood that, Allah is not going to accept anything in, as a deen, a way of life, except what he told you to do.